consulting work is well cover a lot of area from uh, groundwater investigation to remediation to uh, design the tallest building in the world in Saudi Arabia for architects. So uh, it is a, a well-served company that will serve almost everything that from engineering point of view or science point of view. We do a lot of water and uh, water plant for drinking water and wastewater and uh, we do any kind of engineering. We, we do highway any type of consulting. Almost like every industry will have some kind of need for consulting uh, business to help them. 80% of my project was within uh, 60 mile radius from the city of Chicago. My role is uh, a principal in charge, basically a liaison between ourselves, a company, and our client. Basically, I'm the I put it like principal in charge. Actually, I'm the salesman to try to sell the work to the client and bring the work so our people can work on that. And uh, I, my uh, responsibility include make sure that our project I bring in and execute correctly and then make sure that everything that requested by the client are delivered to the client. I am also principal in charge and our job is, the way Waylon said, to bring money to the uh, to the um, our operation and to keep our staff busy. So our job, if you could say, marketing, but what is not the marketing because you have to review the technical stuff, the, the repair people prepare or any decision make, we have to make a final decision. You might sit in here doing a soil boring lock one day and the next day you probably travel to the west coast or east coast to physically working in the site, at the site to uh, work with the driller to drill something in the ground and recover soil sample or groundwater sample. So. Um, the good thing about the consultant is that you, because it's a, it is a project related. Every project, like Mars you were saying, is a different. So you're gonna expose to different kind of thing. And uh, in our business, the more you expose, the better you prepare for yourself for this business. As a consultant, usually we manage a project from the cradle to the grave. I always interested in geoscience when I was in high school, so I had a bachelor degree from you know a geology when I was uh, graduating from National Taiwan University, and then I came to uh, UIC for my graduate study. My family members are all in medical field, and as I got because I said I was in Iran, and in Iran you have the have a pass a test every year to go to uh, university and I got it past that test and it was my grade was very high to get accepted in medical school but I didn't want it to go. I wanted to be a geologist. They're probably better off they can get an internship somewhere. But Maybe. there's a lot of companies that have you know, internship. So uh, definitely there will be a difference between a person that when he graduated that he had a couple years of internship with him and the person that who had no knowledge about how to consult the business. That's that's what you are looking for. In our business, and especially in you know uh, in the Chicago, we typically don't do a lot with the rock. We deal with soil. It was overburdened geologist point of view, but it is the one that we deal with the most. It's imperative for a geologist major people, a person, come out of the school, have some knowledge about you know, the soil, how to classify the soil. It will be very helpful for students 
um, out of school to get into the consulting business. Trust me, that's probably one thing people are going to ask you when you interview with a consultant engineer. Another thing I've seen more and more are from our other school of the geology uh, graduate. Uh, it turned out that almost everyone had AutoCAD scale. So grad geology major all know how to use AutoCAD, so they can do drawing themselves. That gives you additional uh, you know, uh, edge against other schools. Uh, one more thing is about uh, organic chemistry. Uh, we do a lot of testing on the organic, organic chemistry. The most important thing is writing, communication and writing. Communication, how you communicate future with the agency, with your client. And writing, it gives to if you work in consulting, from beginning to end. Go to all the seminars. If that seminar is cost for somebody two hundred dollars, I'm saying, for me with a student, it cost me twenty bucks. Twenty bucks is the same amount for me. It was like two hundred dollars for somebody else. But you need to invest and be prepared and open your eyes where those other consulting are coming. What other company is coming? to that and take advantage of this situation. And in that time, I at the same time, they didn't come to see me. I said, by the way, I, you know, I went there. And I said, oh, by the way, I'm going to graduate soon. I already finished my coursework. coursework. What kind of work you, what kind of work you guys are looking for? But a minimum that a geology major should have a professional geology degree that require almost, I shouldn't say every state, but you know, um, there's at least a, a number of states, uh, Illinois, uh, all the, our neighboring state had uh, uh, professional geology requirement to practice professional geology. The service today, it may be different than the service 20 years ago and it may be different 20 years down the road. So uh, it will be a challenging thing for people freshly from the school. But the good thing is, you know, there will be always going to be some kind of work for you to do. And then you got to embrace it and then work on that. You know, position yourself to understand the direction of where they go. And you will be you're not going to be worried about it. It's going to be a career for you.